hello and welcome to this new tutorial and in this tutorial i'm going to show you how can we apply watershed algorithm for blood cell segmentation so this is what i want to achieve i will read an input image of blood cells and i want to segment each blood cell uh, using watershed algorithm so let's see how can we do this so i have already configured a project that uses emg ucv 4.2 you can check my previous videos how to configure it so let me go to the menu item and add a new item here and name it segmentation and inside segmentation i will be using water shed segmentation double click on it and the first thing that i will do is a try cage block so that i can catch the exception and i can show the exception if i have message box tab tab ex dot message okay so the first thing i will make sure is i have an image in my picture box so i can say if picture box one dot image if this one equals equals null then i will do nothing so i will return and once we make sure that there is an image i can read it into a variable called img and then i will be creating a new object for bitmap and then pass in the parameter is the picture box dot image and since i need basically an emgu cv structure so i can use two image to convert it into an uh, emg use bgr image and its depth is in bytes and, and i need to calculate the markers which are basically the pixels uh, or a pixel inside my objects of interest from where the watershed segmentation will start segmenting so i will try to find out those areas or the pixels inside those objects which i will be using as uh, markers so one thing that i will do is i call it a mask i can convert the image into a gray sketch so i need to convert into a gray and a depth is in bytes and uh, then i will do the thresholding and uh, it's a an inverse thresholding because my background is white so i will be using inverse thresholding and uh, let me select a threshold value of 150 and if it is less than this one then i want to replace it with 255 and once i do this i can then apply the distance transformation so distance transformation basically gives the distance from a white pixel to the nearest black pixel so this way we can get uh, most probably the central pixels within the blood cells will have higher value than i can uh, i will be sure to find out those values so what can i do is i uh, to store the result i need a uh, uh, distance uh, distance transform a mate i'm going to create a mate object and i call it distance transform and then i will call the cv invoke dot distance transform function and this is expecting uh, an image so the image that i am using is the mask which i have just created and the output will be distance transform and i don't need to store the labels so i and the distance that i am going to use is l2 distance and uh, the mask size that i'm using is three so th three by three mask size and so this one will do find the distances and uh, store them in my distance transformation and these values they can have any value i don't know about them so maybe i can normalize them between 0 and 255 so i'll be using cv invoke dot normalize and uh, the input will be the distance transform transform and the output is uh, again the distance transform so i want to put it here and the minimum value i want is two uh, zero and the maximum is 255 and remember to select the normalization type to be the min max so between zero and one 
So this is how I do the normalization to make sure that these distances are converted. Now it will be like a grayscale image. The distances are in a grayscale image. And then I can apply again a thresholding on it so that I will select some distances that are greater than some threshold value. So I can use it like call them markers, for example. These are these are what I am calling the markers. So distance transform dot. First of all, it is a mate. So to make it easier, I will convert it into a gray image. So gray and of type byte. Once I transform it into a gray scale image, then I can do the thresholding dot thresholding. And this time I just need the threshold binary because my mark markers are in white color already and then i can select a suitable threshold value for example 50 will i hope it will work fine for me otherwise i can readjust it if the pixel values are greater than 50 i will replace with 255 okay so these will be used as markers the distance transforms that i have used and then the values which are greater than 50 i'll be using them as my markers Maybe I can show these markers in a picture box dot image is equal to markers dot to bitmap. Let us see how these markers look like. File open in the blood cells image and then when I do the watershed. So this is what actually I want. These are the markers that I will be using for the segmentation. So before passing the markers into my watershed segmentation, I should give each of the marker a unique value for the pixels within them. For example, one, two, three, four. So to do that, uh, I will be using the connected components method. So CV invoke dot connected components. And here I am going to pass my markers as input and uh, the labels themselves are also in the output. So the, I, I'm going to store these in, inside the markers. So this is what we'll do for every pixel so within every contour or within the separate um, object, a unique value will be given, one, two, three, four, whatever it wants. So this way we can identify every uh, object and then we can pass it. And uh, one more thing that I need to do is, the method for watershed expects the markers to be of type integer 32 their depth should be 32 so i need to convert them so before passing them i will be writing something like this variable output is equal to or final final markers is equal to markers dot convert so this time i'm the color is same but the depth will be in 32 that i'm going to convert into okay and now i can pass these final markers into the watershed algorithm so most of the uh, the work that i did is just for the preparation of the markers and uh, the cv invoke dot watershed is just we are going to call and here we are expecting the input image and then the markers so i will be passing final markers as input so this one will give us the markers or the segmented areas remember that for every segmented area it will give the value of the pixel to be minus one on the boundaries so that is an important information Using that information or the uh, boundaries, I want to draw the boundaries around my object. So how can I do that is, this is the very much flexibility of the EMG UCV. So instead of applying a loop and uh, working with the pixels, I'm going to do something else. So image, uh, gray, we are requiring or producing an output of a gray image. So I call them contours or the boundaries. Boundaries is equal to final markers, final markers dot convert. There is a generic function that is called 
convert and I want to convert this one into bytes and the final marker is basically in 32 and I want to convert it into bytes and now here I am using a generic func or a delegate so I am passing a gen generic delegate and it is accepting uh, an integer 32 and call it the pixel value x for example and uh, once we have the x value then I can process it inside here and uh, of course this one is giving me error I need a return statement here uh, I will write here a return statement what I want to return is a byte I want to convert the pixel into byte and what I want to do here is if my pixel value that is b equals equals minus one it means it is a boundary pixel so ternary operator that I'm using if it is equal to one then I will return 255 otherwise I'm going to return zero this is not b it is x so that's it so what we are doing we this we are accepting every pixel value that is x and i am converting into a byte and if this x value is equal to minus one then i replace it with 255 otherwise i want to return it as zero so this is how i will get the boundaries now once i get the boundaries of the segmented objects i can draw them on my image so one thing that i can do here is uh, simply uh, img dot set will or maybe these boundaries may be one pixel width because these are just maybe we can do a dilation boundaries dot underscore dilate one time to make the boundaries a little bigger so that we can easily see them and then i can set these values to be to some color for example set value of my original image to be for example I want to show them in green b is blue green red is zero and a mask here is mask is important so i just want to pass this boundaries as mask so that only the pixel values of whatever the pixel values are 255 those values will be set to this uh, value in my image and uh, that's it so we can also uh, optionally do add image which i have created a custom method to show the data in my tree view i can pass this img and i can call them water shed segmentation and finally i can also show this image in my picture box so let us run the application and see the results. File, open the image. These are the blood cells and then I watershed. So you can see the segmentation results. And this is the input image and this is the segmentation of the objects using the watershed segmentation. So that's it for this video and hope to see you in another video.